first time ever on a dub place. This one, a Stevie Culture song. Vice in for two man production. Watch it up. Hey, you better go the joy. And never end the joy. Yes, you better go the joy. And never end your joy. You better hold your joy. And never end your joy. Yes, you better hold your joy. I never end your joy. Watch ya now. A bad mind, some bad mind, make them not happy. Yo. A envious, them envious, make them not happy. Yo. Touch full, them touch full, them cannot happy. Can't yeah, sleep at night, them all are sleep from happy. Yo. See, I'm not trying to make a food and you are sleeping. So, I'm going to put things I wish that you get that thing. Oh, you cannot sleep at night. Everybody, you are fine. If you're not happy, you're not going to touch your life. It's better if you hold a job. And never in your joy, put your bed up, your joy. And never in your joy, you better all your joy. Never in your joy, get your bed up, your joy. And don't you end your joy. Hey, why are they so envious and bad mind? You always fight against your brothers when you see him up with the light. Why always encourage him to stay far but not behind? That's why your brother can be better. You know, grow in the world of life because we now hold your joy. We always like to end the job. It's your better hold your job. And never end your job. You got all your joy. And never end your job. Hold on to your joy, to my production. But we tell them again, we say we're not gonna make nobody rock me up with happiness. Me and God seek up your job in the man, we always do the best. To righteousness, I have access. And righteousness is what we always possess. Always do my best, and let them do the rest. Never think of myself for being less. But always hold on to my joy and happiness, and I will never stress, yeah. We are gonna hold the joy. We never end the joy. We always hold the joy. I never end the joy. Hold on to your joy. I never end joy. Never end joy. We treat it to man and woman, girls and boys. Mess up our rights. The last is I live and never die. Rule and the brain is up for you and I. Yeah. So I say I know two man for dance and a positive vibration. When I see number every radio station, this is like a wicked man interception. Cause what's the man have to give them correction? Because they're going down the wrong direction. First time I wanna do positive vibration, rocking the nation. Two men. Whoa now, whoa whoa. Wicked got to go. Wicked men got to go. We need them no more. That's why we gonna burn down Babylon flat. We keep this never keep up and we want it to stop. Yes, we gonna burn down Babylon flat. Burn them from to straight up to end top. Because they don't deserve to be on this earth. Because they did not put righteousness first. And from the wicked ways, they just won't die burn. And to their wicked ways, I'm a knock and burn. Oh no. Wicked men. Change your wicked ways. And if you don't do that, then Jack is surely gonna shorten your day. You always like to take, but you never like to give. And all the work that you do on earth is so good of negative. For all the evil that you done, your days are gonna come. So I want you just to be prepared to face your fire burn. You're not gonna get away. That's what the Holy Bible says. You're not gonna get away. So be prepared for your judgment day. That's why I'm gonna burn down Babylon flat. We 
wickedness them a keep up and we want it to stop. Yes, we gonna burn down Babylon and burn them from coast straight up to end top. Because they don't deserve to be on this earth. Because they did not put righteousness first. And from their wicked ways they just won't divert. And to their wicked ways we stand up and burn. I said I read, I read, I read. It has no burden, my And we got on it up at all. And we put on the pressure. You cannot get away. No, no, you can't get away. You can never get away. No way. You go along the earth. And you rob and you rape and kill. And that's the reason why we think you are mentally ill. You do not like to share the earth with each and everyone. You put up your fence and a dark house You own up Judge land. You better change right now. All your judgment is there. Or you will be there to face it fair and square. You're not gonna get away for your evil work. You must stay. You're not gonna get away. Going on mute. Burn them flat. Burn them flat. Boom. Jenny, come back. Live and direct. As always, that's how we roll. Live and direct. Nothing else. Nothing else matters but live and direct. Life is life. Na, 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 na. Life is life. Yeah. How are you, beautiful people today? Wonderful people. How are you? Hope you're doing fine. Great. Better than good, better than most. And sometimes you even have to be better than that. Yeah, man. Jenik, your host, lack of direction, not lack of time. Often, this is what I, I love, that background, man. Eh? That's so beautiful. I was freaking out when I saw the lion before. I was like, that's my boy. And then she started to freak out. <laughs> I think she was... Uh, Live and direct with direction. Yeah, exactly. Live and direct with direction. But the, the, what happened eh, often, what I have experienced in my life is not so much a lack of time. Bonjour, Suzanne. It's not so much a lack of time, but a lack of direction. Like we're going like a, like puppet on a string, eh? like puppet on a string, no direction, being told what to think, being told what to do, being all my life's been like that without ever. Uh, taking control of my own substance inside. You know, the substance important to preserve. Your substance inside is what's going to keep you alive. So preserve that substance inside if you can, if you have the possibility, the opportunity to get in touch with this. Né? Bonjour, doing higher for sure. Yeah, like it. But that's it. Once you realize also that you know, you what I think the best thing. Yes, yeah, so I am. The best thing is to really become conscious of your uh, the usage of your time. But we're not like we give our time to anything that doesn't really matter. Dumb stuff, dumb shit. We focus on dumb shit. That's where we put our time to it, to distraction, to anything that doesn't really nurture and elevation. <laughs> You know, when we end up in distraction and then we, we don't see that it's distraction. That's what it is. Me, I've never seen it as distraction. I've seen it as entertainment. You know, as entertainment. But even that, never thought of the word entertainment, what it means. <laughs> so I was completely... It's your mind is tainted. Your mind is tainted. There's a veil. There's something for you not to, to, to feel life to a deeper level i think that's what it is the, because today i feel life which is you people to me it's life it's the animals it's everything it's everything that surrounds me is life so if i can feel that on a deeper level and really uh, focus on this and focus on life on the love for life 
I think we can do uh, we can do certainly better than we do now. Can always be more. Can always be more. Can always do more. Can always be more. If we stay on pause, it's a choice. You know, expanding is a choice. I had something here for you. Yeah. Dare to be. Dare to be. When a new day begins, dare to smile gratefully. Dare to smile gratefully. I know sometimes it's hard. Life can... Life can, you know, sometimes because we're not in charge of our time, this is very important. The, once, the fact we don't have patience, we don't have the will to, to, to pursue a dream or stuff like that is we don't have the charge of our time. We, we're not taking charge of our time, of our agenda. You know, it's very, very important to reclaim our agenda in the process. That's what I'm doing here is reclaiming my agenda, mastering my uh, my time. Just thank you, Luna. You okay, dog? Okay. I guess she's trying to find a spot to to lie down. Yeah, uh, that's it. It's just sometimes I, I think also because the, she kind of distracted me a bit, but I'll get back to my stuff. Hold on. I think it's the... Yeah, what I was saying? When a new day begins, dare to smile gratefully. Dare to smile. Oh, I was going to say... Life sometimes can be challenging, for sure. For sure, it's challenging. But what are we supposed to do? Like, if you have a challenge, you should take the challenge. You know, you should not shrink in front of adversity, in front of tribulation. No, no, no. This is growth period. To me, it's the period where I grow the most is when I have tribulation, when I have a, a stuff happening. You know, empty stomach, empty bank account, uh, all this look, it can greatly greatly help you uh, realize a lot of stuff and even in those time you have to smile even in those time so when there is darkness there to be the first to shine a light if you're in a room that's dark with dark uh, energy shine your light shining to me is you know sometimes shining for me it's simply put a smile on my face this is very uh are you getting on or off you're going on your couch okay yeah that's where she's going i think yeah uh that's it uh what i was saying there to be the first to shine a light yeah to me shining my light uh, very often if depending the setup where i i'm at uh, with who i'm i'm with uh, uh, sometimes it's simply to put a smile on my face. And just that, just that can make people uh, realize that, oh, hold on, I'm having problem with her, hold on. But not problem, I'm having issue. Problem is, Peut-être qu'on va être bon sans sentir, sans sortir de même. Okay, we should be okay. I was talking about smiling. Sometimes it's just that, you know, it's just to put a smile, shining your light, shining your light depends with who you are and what setting you're in, but it's often just put a smile on your face. Like sometimes words are unnecessary anyway. Sometimes I find words unnecessary. Sometimes it's just the action, the action to smile, the action to be kind, to all this is uh, Kelun is excited by the tigers. I think so. I think she's excited by excited by the the lion and the tigers. And when I said the uh, Kelona, c'est quoi tu fais? Be a good girl. 
She likes the true, uh, like pieces of fabric. She loved by the some. I caught her eating socks. You know, she threw up a sock one day. Uh, but it's not the only dog that does that. Because they love your scent, they love you, they love your scent, and they want to eat you. They want to make sure you stay with them. Because you know, for a dog, for her, we are her, her old world. She has never really experienced any other uh, people than us. So you, you're very important uh, to them, for sure. When there is injustice, there to be the first to condemn it. There is injustice. It's all there is in this world. It's injustice and uh, lots of injustice and lies and deception. But I think you condemn it. Uh, you speak it, speak it into existence, but uh, to focus only on the on the dark stuff is not a solution in any way to con to keep condemning it. Like I do, I did it once. I've done it, and now I'm I moved on. I mean, I'm not going to change this world anyway. So it's up to people. It's up to us together. Together, we're going to do something very, very powerful. And it's getting there. Might take another thousand years, but we're walking in that direction anyway. When something seems difficult, dare to do it anyway. Dare to do it anyway. Hold on. She wanted a hug. She wanted a hug. She loves when I hug her. Qu'est-ce que tu fais là? C'est quoi t'as dans un papier de toilette? Hey. She loves to be hugged. She loves when I take her. I make her stand up. Là. And I turn her around and I hug her. And she loves it. So she, sometimes she likes to... I don't know. She comes to me just for that. I feel I feel she comes to me just to get a hug sometime. Feels good. I love hugging for sure. And her, she has such a good energy. She's wonderful. I love her. My best friend, Kelona. I have a friend. I told you I had no friend. I had I have a friend, a true friend, Kelona. I have a friend. Uh yeah, when something seems difficult, dare to do it anyway. You know, it's it's just it's gonna become it's gonna look difficult at first, but the more you do it, the more you master it, so the easier it gets. Like this at the beginning, I was doing half an hour. I was like <laughs> struggling to find inspiration for half an hour and keep the 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 you know I I had to find a way to do it. I've never nobody came here and coached me on how to do this stuff here. I'm discovering everything by myself by the day how to do it and the way to do it and you know I don't go copy other people I just want to wake up each and every day and have an experience so it's up to me to have the experience you know that's very important for me and even if it's difficult to go uh, through it and to grow from it you know you're gonna grow from difficult stuff from hard time from you don't grow so so much with a silver spoon in your mouth all the time like there's not much uh, experience to to, to 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 make you dig within you and find strength. Like it's very very. Uh, I don't think anyway. That's the way I see it. But uh, when life seems to beat you down, dare to fight back. Dare to fight back. Okay, now she's lying down. I think we're good now. 
Yeah, dare to fight back for sure. The, don't let you know you can be a. Uh, you can be broke. Don't be broken. Ha! You can life can knock you uh, can knock you down, but don't let life knock you out. Same thing. No, it's be you were being knocked out, knocked out completely, signed out and knocked out. And it's up to us not to, to wake up and fight back. You know, for sure. When there seems to be no hope, there to find some. Dare to find some hope. Be a shining hope. Torch. Torch the ever burning flame. Had a great song, Shining Hope. Help one more to cope. For well, sure, that's what we need. We need each other. We need to. Uh... And again, it's not because I'm going to rescue uh, physically everybody, but we can rescue each other mentally, like uh, spiritually. Call it the way you want. Trials and tribulation urge me into action. Not to go back to bed, depression. Exactly, exactly. The, that's same for me, uh, Suzanne. I'm in pain all day long. You know, it's important to stay positive in this situation. Like, if everything goes good and uh, you always had it good and life never had the tragedy or if, like you might be very very much into a, a comfort zone i think a tragedy and all this and pain and stuff makes us you know i think it's some it can destroy you like it can build you up but it's a choice and so i took the choice to build up on the pain and not end up in depression and uh negative and all this because of pain because i could it's sometimes it's anyway that's my problem. <laughs> That's my, uh, my, my, uh, I, I'm not here to complain. I don't like complaining about it anyway. I don't like complaining about it because it's a bit negative complaining about it. So uh, I prefer give it power, but in a positive way. So, yeah. Not give it power in a negative way. It's not very good. When you're feeling tired, there to keep going. That is probably the most uh, important part, maybe, is. You know, sometimes we're, we're all tired, we're all exhausted, we're all uh, like very fed up sometimes, uh, fed up and lack of energy. And But it's in those times, if you keep going in those times, I've done it here a few times, going on three, four hours sleep, get up, come here. Even if I'm tired, I do it. And I'm glad I done, I've done it because that made me grow a lot. That made me, you know, it's in those times you find the most strength. It's not when, when I'm, when my, uh, mindset is there and I come here and I'm super prime and uh, all this and which is pretty much all the time but I uh, I found great inspiration but when I'm tired it's a bit more challenging uh, anybody that goes uh, speak on stage or do a public speech uh, anywhere uh, they, they're going to tell you uh, it's better if you're if you have good rest if your mind is uh, if you have clarity you know when when you're tired you don't have the same clarity but I don't think because we're tired uh, we should give up or uh, we should let no it's that's where we have to push you know that's where it's always in the extra mile i i i trust a lot in the extra mile in doing the extra mile when you're tired when you don't feel like it doing stuff when you don't feel like it when you're sick that's where it's very good when times are tough there to be tougher when times are tough there to be tougher Tougher than rock. The concrete is tough, but we're tougher than that. Tough to the core. For sure. That that's what you build. You build that toughness, that mental toughness, that that mental clarity, that mental power that allows you to, to do something with your mental, to do something, not to just uh, end up in the distraction. Lack of direction is distraction to me. That's what it is. It comes to that a lot. If I allow chronic pain to dictate my life, I would be... Ah, me too. Me too. Me too. Forget about it. If I allow the pain to dictate my life, I'm not here anymore. I'm dip I'm not here for sure. For sure, I'm not here because this is very positive and I would be negative. So, uh, no, uh, depression and all that. Uh, that that hits a lot of people. A lot of people, when tragedy happens, uh, if they don't have that little uh, flame inside and 
Uh, very much people, uh, a lot of people end up doing nothing after tragedy and not everyone wake up, but it has the potential. It has a great, great potential. Same like women. Women are closer to enlightenment, to waking up than men because they have pain body every freaking month. <laughs> they have pain body. They experience pain every month, no matter what. The pain body of the menstrual cycle, menstruation, menstrual cycle. So just that is a heavy on women. Sometimes the cramps, I'm sure it's something. I've never had period myself, <laughs> but I'm sure it's something not very pleasant. And it's every month, you know, every month confronted with sure. It's sure, sure, sure. During the month, you're going to have pain body when the men have that. When a man, like I had pain in my life when I broke my friggin' leg. Other than that, I never had really much pain uh, hitting me or a, uh, like maybe injuries, playing sport and stuff, but nothing really uh, concerning having pain. So it's very, so you end up very much in comfort, especially men. Women are closer. Women are closer. And very often, that's probably why also uh, naturally, I think women are mature faster than men because they have that pain young. You know, women, uh, when they're 13, 14, they start having their period. And that's where they start experiencing pain. So that's why you see the level of maturity go up. Also, when you have pain, when you experience pain, your maturity goes up because you got to deal with the pain. You got to deal with something. So that's why little girls and teenagers, sometimes you're going to see a big, big difference between girls like me being a boy. I've never, uh, I don't think I was mature really before, uh, like in my teenage years, before 16, 17 Like, uh, that's where I started to really uh, open my eyes then. But I think, uh, girls, it happened oft often earlier because of the pain body. So, yeah, the pain body can be uh, something very, something to build you up for sure. Or it can destroy you. When love hurts you, dare to love again. Love hurts. For sure, love hurts. For sure, there's a song like this, huh? love hurts. For sure, love hurts, and uh, that's it. Dare to love again, because what we experience here, uh, I think, is not really so much genuine love. So for sure, when, you know, love should be unconditional, should be something that should be respect, uh, kindness, uh, compassion, empathy, all this is love. But all these stuff are gone from the heart of the, uh, gone from the heart of men, Like, we love things, we love things, we love things, so uh, we end up hurting people, and uh, in the process, we uh, hurt ourselves also. So, we end up under trauma, because we don't have no sense of what love is. Anyway, most people, you go ask them, what is love? They don't know what to tell you. Most people have no, uh, no overstanding of the basics. Of the basic, basic stuff, it seems to be very hard to overstand the basic here. Uh, yeah. When someone is hurting, when someone is hurting, there to help them heal. That's what we do here. We heal together. We heal. Uh, we're healing the trauma, healing the... But the trauma mostly, no? like what there is to heal. But heal the knee for sure because I think if the mental, if the mental is there, I think the mental stuff, and especially through an injury, through uh, uh, hard times, like uh, you go probably through every day, Suzanne and stuff, and me and stuff. It's for sure, if you uh, if you keep a good mental, a positive attitude, it can help you greatly. Me, it does, it does, and I'm starting to feel it. That's it. And when you see someone hurt, don't just turn your head, you know, dare to help them heal. We all have something to teach to each other. It's not uh, because we have nothing to uh, to teach to each other. I've never, you had a magical experience with life, so it's worth it to share. Find a way to share your story, for sure. When another is lost, dare to help them find a way. Same thing, there to help them find the way. It is very important. So many of us are lost at sea. Lost at sea. 
your ship, it's like you are the ship and you're lost. <laughs> so if you see people lost at sea, there to help them for sure, find their way. Don't define a way for them. Like always, always take the road less travel. Very important. And anything that I do, I don't want to be a copycat. I don't want to just do something because I, no, no, it's got to be genuine. It's got to be, a, yeah, in my own way, my own way. That's it. When friend falls, there to be the first to extend the end. Extend the end. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish, but so many of us don't care about each other. No? Even your children. <laughs> Even your children don't really care too, too much about you, their parents. No? Like, it's the programming of society. To, it affects the younger generation. As soon as they start to, to venture out in Babylon, they start to pick up the, the, the vibes and often the caring part. The caring, contributing... Sh uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what we focus on. That's what I focus on. I know not everybody focuses on that kind of stuff, but it's not my concern because I don't want to change the mind of people. I think it's a bit delusional. Changing myself, changing my uh, what is that freaking ad again? That's what is a bit. Anyway, we have the Litimi News on Revenue. When you cross paths with another, dare to make them smile. Dare to make them smile. Very, very, these things are so, so important. You know, just a smile, just smiling to, to, to someone you don't know. Just, just when I go take a walk and I see people and I stop, you know, it makes me feel good. It makes my heart feel good just to stop and talk to people you know just that just talk and have a chat and just say hi and keep going you know put a smile on your faces sometimes people have very very uh, dark days and they're alone lonely and they don't find a way to, to to like be very connected and stuff to end up this lonely life so sometimes they meet someone like that it's probably the only person that they're going to talk to during the day, especially elderly people. So especially elderly people, when I see them, uh, like in the street, or I always uh, intend to have a conversation. Like the, the, the old man at the store here, he's always there with his three-wheel bike. He's like 80-something years old, but he still goes around and stuff, and he's very funny. So just put a smile and uh, have a little uh, uplifting moment. Uh. When the day has ended, dare to feel as you've done your best. It's a lot about you feeling the stuff also. You know, when I said you feeling good with life is important, well, it's to put that in your head also that you feel good. Because <laughs> if you uh, have those little voices inside that always uh, make you feel bad, it's not very good. No? Very important to give strength to others in whatever way they need. If we are empathic, and live with compassion is part of our mission here. Exactly. We are, listen, the mission is not the uh, destruction. <laughs> the mission is elevation, for sure, elevating constantly. I think that the, one of the meaning of life, seriously, is to, to get in touch with you, to, to let go of, I don't know if the whole, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, like a, an experiment here. We are, maybe we are an experiment. Who knows? Who knows what this whole purpose is like this is. But to me, my purpose, the purpose that I see is really uh, sharing, caring. The answers are in there. Sharing and caring. The answers are in there. So then you, you start uh, opening your eyes to life and connecting more and giving strength and uh, receiving strength. Also, people are going to give you strength. Like I might give you strength here or clarity a bit. But I receive a lot of strength. I receive a lot of, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Attitude is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Optimism is a choice. Kindness is a choice. Giving is a choice. Respect is a choice. Whatever choice you make, makes you. Choose wisely, for sure.
If you're unable to choose, unable to take decision, it's hard to, to have direction in your life. Là. Like direction comes with decision also. You know, the great, the more decision you're going to take, the better decision you're going to take, the better direction you're going to have in anything that you do. Like whatever I do here is not so much uh, relevant what I do. It's more the the, the actions. And yeah, for sure. Find your own direction also. You know, when I say lack of direction, there's also lack of thinking. Because once you start to think, once you, because that, that's really what it is, I think, is uh, we have to start becoming conscious. And becoming consciousness is the action of thinking. You think, but thinking is not thinking, repeating other people's stuff. It's thinking for yourself. You know, have genuine, can you have that one genuine thought in your life? One thought coming from you in your life. It's hard because the alphabet doesn't come from me. So all the thoughts in my head are alphabet thoughts. So from start, but if we forget about the program alphabet and we start, but even that, it's like kind of impossible because the alphabet doesn't come from me. And what I think in my head is words. Like what I think is often words and the way to, to, to put it in front of people. So it's never really something that I've thought. I did not invent the alphabet. So it's very, very hard to have a thought, a thought an original thought. Have you ever had an original thought? I was discussing that with people before. And it's very, very uh, true. Uh, like when you think about it, uh, but also, I don't limit myself to say, oh, uh, the, no, I acknowledge it. <laughs> I still have to talk and to communicate. So, But that's where also it's hard to, uh, like, even thinking for ourselves <laughs> is something, uh, yeah. It's an exercise you have to repeat. You have to repeat this stuff. It's it's an exercise. Now. Erasing that programming and uh, changing the blueprint and redoing something more magnificent with your life is an exercise. You have to condition yourself to that because uh, if, you, if I listen to my brain, I won't do too much. I listen to my heart when I come here. It's my heart pushing me. It's my heart guiding me uh, because the, the brain... Uh, the brain will do anything I command. If my arm... All this comes from the brain, you know. Any any action I commend it to the brain, he's gonna do it. But I have to be conscious within me. I have to be there. If I'm not there, if there's no substance inside, who's controlling the action? Think about it. You know, if you're not present inside you, who controls the action? Who controls your thought? This is where consciousness is. Consciousness is also the the substance inside you, that great substance. Eh? That guy looked like me. That's why I was freaking out before. I said, that's my boy. <laughs> Think, feel with one's art. Use the brain to do. Exact. The, the brain, will. I can tell it anything. Uh, if I'm present inside and I commend my action, the brain will do whatever I want him to do. Whatever. But I get a condition. That brain, <laughs> it's a muscle. It's a muscle that you have to work out. If you don't work out your muscle, uh, you're going to end up very weak. You're going to end up with weak muscle and a weak mind and a weak uh, weak feeling with life and everything you will feel. You will not feel the, the super vibe. Build up that strength inside. Very, very important. Strengthening of your mind, only that can save you. You can build muscle on your body however you want. If you don't have the strength in there, at one point you'll be taken out with this world. It's very, very challenging, very uh, it's, it's caught up in Babylon and like this uh, for survival. Uh, can, you know, when it's intended for us to, to be in a paradise and we have turned this into hell. So it can be very, very challenging sometimes. Even me, I have my dose of challenge, but I remain focused. I, I, tell, I always tell myself that better days are coming and I stay focused on the price and eyes on the price and always here and uh, always positive. Because I know life wants me to be positive. Life doesn't want me to be negative. But Babylon, the overlay and all the nonsense come and bring the negativity and the, the, the state of numbness and state of uh, living dead. <laughs> all this. No? It's distraction. You go with the system, it's distraction. Distra they will capture your soul and, uh, unless you take control of what you think, 
what you do and society will do it for you don't don't worry you can become you can come in this world never think never with no consciousness you can be unconscious all your life that's what we are i think it's very very much i think there's possibility for a child to be conscious with guidance and teaching but uh, very few parents are uh, very aware and even that even if you tell your children doesn't mean they're going to pick up everything you tell them and they have to have a certain level of comprehension at a certain age like you don't present something to a five-year-old the same way you present it to a 13 14 year old so there's a process for them to understand the vibration of life the the, the environment and all that so we're all in Babylon. Uh, what am I going to do? Bring, seclude my uh, children in a box so they don't have interaction with Babylon? It's like, uh, I'm born in Babylon, I'll die in Babylon, and I'll deal with it. Yeah, we are brothers, sisters, keeper. That's it. Be your brother's keeper and sister's keeper. Uh, you know, it's like the work, I, it's not necessarily personally to Suzanne, but I see Suzanne as a great energy, a great sister. And it's we don't need so much a, a physical interaction because we connect from the heart. God connect from the heart. Everybody here, we all connect from the heart. So we don't need so much to even talk to each other. I talk because uh, I love to speak. <laughs> I love to speak. And uh, that, that's uh, also uh, like where me, I'm learning in the process. I'm I'm learning myself. I'm learning to, to, to know myself more and more each and every day. That's the ultimate knowledge is knowing who you are. And that's what I walk to each and every day. I don't pretend to, to know everything. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing even about me. I'm scratching the surface. So, I, I, But if I don't scratch, if I don't keep scratching, I'm good at that scratching. <laughs> I'm good at that scratching, but uh, that's it. If I don't keep that spirit of always... Uh, be present and be with myself and be have preserve that substance inside that substance will go away one day for sure if you don't preserve your substance your vibe your uh, your energy uh, someone will come and devour it the, the system's like a vampire it's gonna suck your blood suck your energy suck everything out of you until you're completely living dead so it's your choice uh, we all we all we all at any moment can take a conscious decision we all have a brain. It's not because you have to go buy a brain at the grocery market of L. You have it in your head. Just use it. Start to think. Like it might seem very uh, lunatic to say that because you already have a brain and you think that you think. But no, you are under the illusion of knowing. Just like me. Just like everybody. We don't. We don't even realize what is a thought. Like a thought. Just when I tell you a thought, you know what is a thought. That's it. Just that is very profound because just finding the, the just putting a definition on a thought is like, and all the thoughts we have are the original to us. That's another thing. So, but yeah, I love those cats in the back. They grow me new. That must be cool to hug and you no know, hug a tiger. Ooh, that must be a great feeling. Look at those teeth. Eh? He's naturally conceived to kill. Because look at those teeth. He can kill another animal. Anything that he wants to eat, he can kill it with his biological equipment. Look at the teeth. This goes to anything. You're freaking dead, man. And he gets a... My way. These are built to, 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 to kill and to eat, to get go get there. But you, that's what I was thinking the other day, you yourself, you if you go out in nature with your natural biological equipment, how do you want to kill a cow? How would you kill a cow? How would I kill a cow just with my bare hands? I need that to make a tool or something. So naturally, we're not conceived to kill. You know, I was thinking about this. And these guys are, these guys are, look at their teeth. But if I use my bite, I can't even, I can probably kill a rat breaking his neck or a cat or a dog or something. But the big, big thing like a horse or like it's very easy with a knife. Yeah, that's what we use, knives and stuff. 
but with your hands like is you so you, there's that reflection that i had the other day but me i don't eat uh, meat not because of health reason or stuff it's more that the conscience cannot process it and i realize all these stuff and also i look at the majority of people when once you're on the side of the majority take a pause and reflect you know it might not be especially here on earth if you find yourself on the side of the majority you know, it might be a something very very evil <laughs> it, there there's certainly something evil for sure like like especially when you i love concerts and stuff but uh, i know it's a ritual and i know it's a harvesting of energy and stuff and like be the one on the stage be the one behind the stage or whatever but that takes a, a will a great will to do it too conscious vibrational waves yeah thoughts yeah that's a good uh, good uh, way to describe it conscious vibrational waves yeah i think they have a lot of potential also we ignore the potential of our thoughts the the, the potential of creating our own reality because uh, it's easier to have something someone else doing it for you like in anything if i have to do a big pile of dishes here it's easier that i tell my daughter to do it than i do it <laughs> You know, so it's always uh, easier if someone else do it for you. So it's easier to live here if Babylon thinks for you. You don't even have to think. <laughs> so take control of yourself. Take control of your thoughts, of your being. But once you take charge of your thoughts, at least the part you can control, uh, maybe not the alphabet. Uh, you're not going to reinvent a language and uh, that would be to really think. Like all those language that we have you know there's people scholars that created those stuff same like the bible the quran and all this been created by scholars jewish scholars that knew uh, how to think like people that were not all asleep we're not all asleep there's people that that uh, come on look at the the world we live in uh, it's not built by people that sits on the couch so if we with the uh, wait for uh, us to 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 start uh, like at one point we would wait a long time i think so no there is a certainly a, a conscious action to to take with that for so sure but if you're not aware of all this if you uh, are navigating in an illusion on a lost at sea on your ship you know, if you're lost at sea, it's going to take time to, to for either people to find you. Maybe people will find you eventually, or you will find your way. But it's always very uh, frightening also to be lost at sea, né? alone in the middle of the sea. Né? Like, that's pretty much what we do. Né? So focus, focus each and every day, elevate, and uh, we'll get out of this uh, We'll find direction. We'll find direction. Greater direction. Greater, uh, greater thoughts come. Greater direction. Greater uh, focus. You know, the more you focus, the more you're gonna be on your path. You're gonna have a direction. You're gonna have. You're gonna know what to do. It's gonna be clear. Like it's clear for me uh, what I have to do. I don't battle or energize uh, battles within me because it's total nonsense i just do what i have to do i follow my art and i give thanks for life each and every day no days off what it is to come and talk to you here it's the easiest thing i've done in my life is the easiest thing i've done in my life and for once i thought it was undoable undoable i don't think i would even survive one video and look so it's just a matter of doing it. Do it, do it, do it, do it consistently. Do it with consistency and with focus, and you're going to get there. But you got to have consistency. It's the number one ingredient in truth is consistency. So you got to be consistent. That's my middle name. I have no problem with that. So I'm letting you go, and uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow. There's no bite radio today. It's uh, tomorrow, the big uh, showcase with Perfect It's Many. That's it. So be there. Yes, I think so, Suzanne. That's all, all the power. Yeah, for sure. Bonjour, uh, ma belle Leslie. La belle Leslie, in the chat. 
Bonjour, Leslie. Vous êtes tous tellement beaux, là. Tu sais, you become more beautiful, too, when you wake up. I think that's what it is, eh? They, I find everyone more beautiful. I, like, I don't see ugly people no more. I'm not negative, so I see only beauty everywhere. I see the world is beautiful, and that's the people. You're all beautiful. No one is ugly. I don't see no one ugly. I see everyone as very divine and beautiful, and... Have a great day. Great day. Great uplifting day. Stay focused. Tomorrow, PT. Ah, tomorrow, PT. That's true. Hey, you make me think of that. Tomorrow, PT. 6 a.m. I won't be here tomorrow. Just, but hey, come low. The other day, too, I was telling you I was coming here the next morning, but I was with PT. La last week, I did the same thing. The Tuesday, I, I, I thought of it after. I said, I'm telling them I'm going to be here tomorrow. I'm going to be here at 7 o'clock. But no, the next day I was with PT. So tomorrow, it's PT on the Truman Show, 6 a.m. So forget about me here. I won't be here tomorrow. But if you want a reason with us, uh, enjoy the, the chat. It starts early, 6 a.m. Montreal. So yeah, you're right. <laughs> Merci, Godfrey. Godfrey, c'est comme mon secrétaire. Tu sais, il me rappelle mes, mes affaires parce que je, des fois, je m'en souviens plus. Ben, il sait so many stuff, là, that, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Non, PT, tomorrow. Tout le show. So, I'm out and uh, have a great day and uh, smile, smile, smile and smile more. It's just smile to life. It's worth it. Life will smile back at you. Yeah, yeah. Greatly. I give thanks for everything. I have a moment sometimes that uh, it's challenging to find a bit more money and stuff, but I tell myself that I'm going to make it. <laughs> I always did. I always improvise anyway if there's something. I don't. I trust life. I trust myself and I trust life. So from there, uh, only good thing can happen. So rise and shine, the order of the day. Don't forget. Boom! Live and direct. Tomorrow, PT, 6 a.m. Truman Show. I'm out. Live up, people. That's it. Large up, uh, Suzanne. Leslie, la belle Leslie, la belle Suzanne. La belle Leslie, la belle Suzanne. Le beau Godfrey. Enfin, on est tous beaux et belles, anyway. On est tous beaux et belles. Fait que shine, 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 shine that light. You have a beautiful light inside. Shine it. Me, I'm out. With the little cat. See you tomorrow. True man show. True man show. True man show with PT. Yeah. Prashan Trevedi, I think, Leslie. Yeah, it's Prashan Trevedi. Prashan Trevedi. But you can check him up. I have him in my friend list on Facebook. You can check him up, uh, Leslie, if you... Uh... Yeah, PT is for Prashan Trevedi. That's it. That's what it stands for. And the positive also, the positive or something like that. Like he he takes his name and I call him PT because it's PT Prashant. It doesn't matter. The name doesn't really matter. It's the man. It's the vibe. It's a, and he has a great vibe. I love him. I love uh, I love doing those reasoning with him because he's very clear. He's very. He's not confusing. He's not bringing explanation definition. I pu finir like he's very. Uh, Yeah, he's great. So, large up, and I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, show. See ya. <laughs>